Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Lay down and get comfortable, my little friend. It's time to go on an adventure. There was a little boy. This particular little boy had to spend lots of time in hospital. He didn't really like going to hospital, but he didn't have much choice. Sometimes kids get sick and they have to go and spend time in hospital. Well, this little boy was one of those little boys. What was interesting about this particular boy was his imagination. He had an amazing imagination. And when he would go into hospital for his treatments, he would close his eyes and sometimes be there for hours and hours and hours. But while he was there, he decided that he didn't have to stay there in his mind. No, 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 no. Just because his body had to be there in hospital doesn't mean his mind had to be there in hospital. This boy turned into a mouse. The mouse was known as Mousy. Mousy had friends. The cool thing about being Mousy was you were small. You were as small as a mouse, which means you could escape. You could crawl under the doors. You could climb up and climb out of the windows. You could go behind things and no one would ever see you. Mousy was small, which meant he could escape. One day, Mousy was going on an adventure, an adventure around the hospital. In his mind, the boy watched as his body turned into the body of a mouse. And the mouse scurried off the bed, scurried down the bed, onto the floor, across the floor, and under the big swinging hospital doors, into the corridor. And no one ever noticed. When he got into the corridor, he met a cat. The cat was known as Fluffy the cat because this cat was very fluffy. Mousy and the cat ran fast through the hallways and no one saw them. They ran into rooms and outer rooms. They ran downstairs and upstairs and no one noticed them. Mousy and Fluffy the cat had other friends. Along the way, they would pick up four other cats and they were known as the trick cats. Those cats did tricks. Some of them did backflips, some of them did splits, some of them span across the corridors on the tummy. They were lots of fun to be around the trick cats. Then, down on the second floor of the hospital, they would bump into Mappy. Mappy the Map. Mappy the Map was an actual map with arms and legs, and he always had different directions on him where to go. 
The pictures on him would change. Sometimes he looked like he was a forest with a path in the middle of the forest. Sometimes he looked like he had mountains with paths with arrows across them heading through the mountains. Mappy always knew where to go and he was a super cool character. And then finally, on the top floor of the hospital, they would catch up with Mr. Tree. Mr. Tree was a tree, of course, but he was a mister. Mr. Tree. And Mr. Tree was always very strong and very sturdy and very, very loyal. He was a really good friend. So there was Mousy, there was Fluffy the cat, there were four trick cats, Mappy, Mappy the map with arms and legs, and Mr. Tree. One day, on the boy's adventures, when he turned into a mouse and become Mousy, he told everyone that it was time for them to get out of that hospital. It was time for them to go on an adventure, an adventure that they'd never been on before. It's time for us to go to the fun fair, said Mousy the mouse. Fun fair, said Fluffy the cat. Let's do it. So with that, Mousy, Fluffy the cat, the four trick cats, Mappy the map and Mr. Tree used their imaginations and escaped the walls of the hospital. It was so good to escape. Sometimes it would be quite scary and sometimes the boy would feel anxious about the treatments just like all the other kids in the hospital probably did. But this day was a special day. This day, at least eight of them, eight of those children were all escaping the walls of the hospital and going to the fun fair. When they got there, they ate popcorn, of course, they ate candy floss, of course. They went on all of the rides. Mousy especially loved the big wheel. The big wheel took them high up in the sky and it was quite slow so it wasn't scary. And when you got to the top part of the wheel, you could see all of the fair down below the children, the people, all of the different rides. It felt like he was flying in the sky with the clouds and the sun and the birds. Fluffy the cat liked the boat ride. The boat ride was super fun because they all got splashed a lot and Fluffy really did look like a drenched cat by the end of it. All of her fur was wet. She was soaked to the skin, but it was super fun. That was her favorite ride. The four trick cats loved the carousel, going round and round and round, over and over and over again like they had no worries in the world. Mr. Tree, well, Mr. Tree's favorite part of the whole fun fair was meeting the world's strongest man. He had the biggest muscles anyone had ever seen and he could lift a car with his bare hands. Mr. Tree felt quite connected to the strongest man in the world as Mr. Tree was a strong guy. Very strong indeed. And Fluffy the cat thought that she looked just like the bearded lady. They were both fluffy after all. 
They went on many, many rides and ate and drank and had so much fun in their minds by using their imagination because after all, Mousy was really a little boy and Fluffy the cat was really a little girl that was there in the hospital getting treatment. The four trick cats were two brothers and two sisters that were down there on the second floor, all there getting treatment in hospital. And Mr. Tree, well, Mr. Tree again was just another boy. Same with Mappy the Map. But what was special about all of these children where they all had the bestest, coolest imaginations. And by closing their eyes, they used their minds to create a whole other world. A world that was fun, a world where it wasn't scary and they weren't anxious or frightened about being in hospital. Their world was fun. In their world, they could turn into mice and cats and trees and maps and disappear out of sight if they wanted to. Now, how cool is that? If you're a little boy or a little girl and you have to go to hospital, don't worry. Just use your imagination. Create a whole new world inside of your mind and make it a special place, a fun place, a place where you're never ever afraid. It's time to go to sleep, my little friends. Time to rest. Close your eyes if you haven't done so already. Take a nice deep breath and imagine your breath going all the way down to your toes. Wiggle your toes if you need to wiggle your toes just to feel your feet. And then use your powerful mind and tell your feet it's time to relax. Time to get heavy and still and quiet. Let your ankles get heavy. Imagine you're wearing big, heavy boots and you're trying to slug through the mud and it would be so hard because the boots would be so heavy. Let your legs feel just like that. Let them get sleepy and tired. your knees, your thighs, relax your hips and let your hips get heavy and sleepy into the bed. Try and stay still and quiet, let your body rest. Relax your tummy, let all of the worries blow out of your tummy. Every time you breathe out, 
Imagine that you're letting go. You're breathing out all of the anxious feelings, all of the worries about anything that's on your mind. Let the muscles across your chest soften and relax. When you breathe out, let them sink and get heavy. Your ribs get heavy. Your shoulders get heavy. Allow the relaxation to roll down over your shoulders. Down to your elbows. All the way down to your wrists. So your arms are so, so sleepy and relaxed. Relax your neck, your back, your head. Just breathe in relaxation and breathe out any worries. Breathe in relaxation and breathe out all of your worries and fears. <laughs>